Hello. Hello everyone and welcome back to Let's Play Pentiment. I want to try going to the Abbey. Hmm, maybe we can go into the secret passage. See if there's like... We'll pet Shlan on the way back. Sh Shlan is slated. Oh, we should check the guest house. Yeah, yeah. If it's open, see if it's... Oh, you fixed up the guest house. Oh, have they? Yes, it's been improved. The Abbot's mm. house is still locked. They fixed up the guest house. Maybe uh, are they trying to attract more patrons? And maybe, I mean, the fact that they're, like, keeping the peasants out now. But can we go into the... No. Oh, it's locked. Convent garden is locked. Probably the Abbey. Why are you putting your hands on the keyboard? It's making me a bit nervous. Cloister is locked. It's just comfortable. Oh, the church is locked. Okay, fuck you. Look at them run at each other. What? When they were doing their going off screen animation. Should we go. Wait, are you not petting Schlan? I didn't the... walk past Schlan. You are. Are we checking the. Uh, yeah, the just salt checking line? everywhere. No, we should not check the... the outer farms. Oh, no, check the salt mine. It's never done anything. I mean, we could have just missed them. Well, yeah, I want to make sure we don't miss it this time. Are you going around Schlan? No, oh, I'm going to Smokey's house. Oh, there he is! What? Where? He's right there! Oh! Pfft. Hi, dude. Oh, hello, Master Mailer. You're looking well. Thank you, Smokey. How are you? I'm well enough, I guess, Vos... Vosklov went his... Vosklov! ...his way a few years ago, which I suppose was bad to happen. But he was, like, living here long-term? I thought he was just here for a few days. I miss the company sometimes. No, that's the Executioner. No, that's Ricard. But now there's no one to no, keep... The Executioner was oh, here right. for a few days. Now there's no one to keep me from my gossip. Good, maybe you can tell us what's up at the Abbey. No one to tell it to, either. Do tell. Yes. Who's been partial to gossip? Half <laughs> of the Earls and... The, the earls in Tarsane. All those the, earls. The what? The yes! earls in will be burning by the <laughs> end, Master Mailer. We're okay, just... dude, that's that's good. Please tell us. We we want to know. We 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 have like all the earls, all the all the like uh, British nobility here. That yes. Tarsane has its own uh, British club for men. And nearly all of them in the Abbey. <laughs> oh, good. Oh. oh. <laughs> what? I did see another Imperial Rush post courier ride from the Abbey a few oh. days ago. Oh, you know about this? Oh, uh, that's... A private mail service run by the Thrun and Taxis family and approved by the Holy Roman Emperor. Oh, okay. Brother Guy dropped the bag once. It looked heavy. The Abbey must be doing better than the Abbot is letting on. Hmm. Well, yeah, because he's, like, bilking all of you for everything you have. Of course he has money. Like, what the hell? Yeah. I heard the Abbey was struggling with its funds. Curious, isn't it? The couriers arrive once or twice a month doesn't help that the abbot has tightened restrictions so close to St. John's Eve, too. The townsfolk get up to all sorts of mischief, then. What sort of mischief? I'd wager Johan and Kat will find some corner to play in again. Ah, uh, tap. Oh, really? Yeah, I knew he was shady. Why? Are they not married? No. 
Are they both married? Um, she is widowed. His wife is still very much in evidence. Evidence? Like, she's in a morgue? No! Like, she's outside their house. Oh, okay. Well, asshole, that's useful to know. It's practically tradition at this point. Veronica and Bridget might go out for a midnight dip in the waterfall, too. Well, that's interesting. We should go look for them. Uh, we encountered them, didn't we? In the waterfall, yes. We should go look for them at that night when it, at sleep time. They've been swimming out there for years. Yeah, I know. Now everyone's getting clever at trying to stay out of the abbot's eye. Rightly so, he's an ass. I didn't see you in the town commons during Otto's speech about his cousin. Aren't, aren't you standing with the peasants? Didn't you just hear him? Well, their cousin definitely doesn't really affect me, does it? I'm as worried as anyone about soldiers rushing through here, but the new taxes and restrictions don't bother me. I understand why they're upset, but I've been doing fine out here with less than they have. Nothing will change for me if they get their way. I see. Yes. Yeah, well, enough of that. Thanks for stopping by, Master Mailer. What about all this gossip? You you were going to make ears of the Abbey bird, dude. Well, he did too. They weren't in the Abbey. We're going to well, have to come the back. the first one. We're going to have to come back later. <laughs> Past the meadow. See if there's anybody in the... Oh, Ooh. hi. Oh, it's her! It's you? You got kicked out of your house? You're, you voice her. Andreas, I have no... You're fucking homeless now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, okay, no. Wait, maybe I can press on something. What, and find a secret passage to the crypt? Nope. Can we talk to her? No, we can't. Okay. Oh, hello, dude. I believe you voiced him. Andreas, I'm super guilty. Back in Taffin, I see. Happy to see me? I came to visit the grave of Brother Piero and pay my respects. Happy to see me? Yeah. No, times are tense. I assume you're referring to Otto's speech. What do you mean? I didn't cause anything. I was only helping a friend who was innocent, mind you. What? Why would you bring that up? You're the one who goes around the country, ain't that so? Peasant revolts all across the land. Folks here in Tassin are upset too. Life's getting harder for everyone. But if this shits go on, there'll be a backlash. A bloody one. Don't be... Don't like the abbot coming for my fishing rights, but I will make do. What? Fishing? He's not letting you fish out either? They seem... I sure if their lives are comparable to ours. I work for my wages like any man, Andreas. Yeah, but you have special... We conditions. work. We don't complain. It's not Christian. Uh, or are you a Protestant? Maybe he is. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. He he, he deserves that. Mm. The Lord sees us all meek and poor. Yeah, whatever, dude. You definitely... As you noted, his clothes look nicer than everybody else's. I suppose. Well, his lows don't look any worse. How's your family doing during these troubled times? We're fine. Agnes is fine. Brigitte is fine. And Martin are uh, fine. Are you is Martin's son? Is this... 
No, she is there. Okay. She is Agnes's daughter, but apparently not his daughter. There was some weird shit with that last time. Martin's become far more responsible than after his return. I just wish, uh, <clears throat> never mind. You wish? Yeah. Hmm. I wish Wolf hadn't died. I mourned the boy all these years later. Not that many years. I hoped he'd take up my mantle. I wanted to pass on my knowledge and trade. I'm sorry, Lucky. I really am. Hmm. Yeah. Perhaps Brigidita will have another. While I live, she seems happy enough with Martin. I love to hear the patter of small feet again. A boy to hold a chisel and mallet. A little stonemason making his grandfather proud. I hope your wish comes true. God willing. Enough idling now. I've got things to do until later, Andreas. Until then. Yeah, let's, uh... Can we go into his house? Yeah. His wife might be in there. Hi, Agnes. Oh, Andres. How good it is to see you again. And who's this? Hello, Agnes. This is my assistant, Casper. Hello. Is that all you ever say, Casper? You're so annoying. What a hell looking boy, aren't you, Andres? You look very well. What are you back and dancing? He doesn't look particularly hale. Yeah, I know. <laughs> yeah, but she can't see all the voices in his head that we can see. I can respect, pay respects to Brother Piero's grave, oh, you know. Couldn't resist the charms of a country life when it's a Brother Piero. Yes. Well, of course, I'm sure the brothers appreciated that. No, they didn't. The last few years have been difficult for everyone. We've lost so many. Let's say, what do you mean? Let's press them for more information. Yeah, we want more information. I won't share stories that aren't mine, but between illness and accidents, grief runs rampant in Tassing. Anyway, I won't burden you with all of Tassing's troubles. It's been good to see you again, Andres. Until later. Until then. I can't even remember who I gave the comedy Russian accent. Oh, the the innkeeper. Ah, yes, the new guy. Uh, we're not going to the bakers? We're going, what's in this north town? Ah, uh, this is new. Yeah. Wait, this is... No, that's just a thing for... Lifting. Yeah, so it's not like another mill. No, what, what, what does this say when we click on this? It might tell us about this building. Start. The Rothers construction is going smoothly. Uh, I wonder if they'll finish it before winter. Who is it? Oh, the Rat House. That's right. Stoll's House? Isenkopf House? Isenkopf. I don't remember these people. This is just more about housing. He's lucky to have so much woundwort naturally growing. I have to buy it back in Nuremberg. Okay, Stoll's. Oh, you! Who is this? This is Dr. Werner, an asshole. Dr. Werner? Yes. I don't remember this guy. This is the guy that tried to examine the Baron's body. Oh. Hello, Andres. It looks like he's a carpenter. He's not a carpenter. He's preparing medicine. Those are chairs for, like, I guess his patients or something when they come in. Who are you, Baltazar? Is this the mechanic's place? Why the fuck would Tassi need a mechanic? What the fuck? You wanna... 
Salutations! You must be that wonderful artist, no? Master Andres Mailer, yes. Wonderful, wonderful. Balthasar Isenkopf, at your service. Call me Barthas, please, it's much more familiar. A pleasure, Balthas. Have you been in Tassing long? Oh, just a few seasons of my copper dark, and I found the place so charming and I decided to stay. Okay. So the abbot didn't have him move here. Well, unless he's, like, bending the truth. Huh. Is the abbot trying to turn this place into, like, a trading village? Maybe. A manufacturing place? I enjoy the quiet, but I must say I do miss the company of other intellectuals. Uh, what's your opinion on Martin Luther, dude? We have to scream you. Usually that good Dr. Saltz and I was with the hours away in the evening. So naturally, when I heard a well-known artist had returned, I was beside myself. Oh, what do you do? So you're an artist then? No, 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 no. What do you do exactly? Yes. I'm, well, an inventor of sorts. Really? Really? What do you make? Oh no! He's gonna steal my apprentice! <laughs> all sorts of things, young man. Mechanical clocks of all sizes, metal mice that skitter about, even light without flame. Metal mice? Why? Good as that. Huh? It's a toy. Ah. What is light without flame? Is that alchemy? I don't know. <laughs> Truly impressive, Baltus. Thank you, Andreas. I knew a fellow artist such as yourself would appreciate. Actually, that's a good point. I probably shouldn't be seen like that's not useful. Unlike art. Oh, well, let us get back to it. You know how it is for us few called to a higher art. Good luck, Baltus, until then. He's like a less annoying version of the Baron. Well, he hasn't mentioned Martin Luther yet, so I'm going to reserve judgment. Oh, I oh, I'm running, I'm running. Yes. Did we go to the outer farms? How do we get there? Outer farms are this way. We should probably check them out. We can run. Oh, well, at least you guys actually had children. That's, that's good. Miss Miller, I never thought I'd see you back here again. That was a really intense looking cow. Oh, I came back to pay my respects to Brother Piero. Oh, I'm sorry, I didn't know the man, but I heard others speak well of him. How have you been, Helena? Well, little Martha managed to survive since your last visit, thank God. But lately, not so well. You must know about the taxes we have to deal with. Otto is trying to make the abbot see some sense, but I'm worried he's playing with fire. Oh yes, we need to talk to Otto about his visions. Carl and Peter and the other farmers support him, but it's dangerous to provoke the duke. Anton's still too young to get mixed up in all of this, and we have Martha to look after now. Sounds like the peasants can't really survive with the way things are. Maybe the townsfolk can talk them down and things already feel like they're getting out of hand. Let's be optimistic. No, no, no. Talking them down isn't necessarily a good idea. But... <laughs> First one, then? Yes. It's going to be hard winter for certain. But I'd take a skinny husband over a dead one. I pray nothing happens to him. I'm guessing something happens to him. Is now that Otto's wife? Get back to work. No, this is not Otto's wife. 
Until later, Andres. Until then. Okay, bye, everyone. Bye.